the empaths in my that I coach and that I meet, they have so much love to give. But the only thing that's hindering them to experience a life that they're really deeply in love with is that they seem to have so many blockages that no one on the outside is kind of seeing and recognizing their gift. Mm. It's like, you know, they're being played with, they're being disrespected, yeah. mm -hmm. they're being, you know, and, um, and they don't understand why. Mm -hmm. And like, what I do with them is, and that goes to your question as well, like how to become magnetic. I, you know, we install their own self-worth because no one in this whole wide world is, world is going to recognize your gift if you don't. No one is going to be able to live the relationship with you that you can't live with yourself. Mm -hmm. So you're standing in front of the world with like an empty cup and asking them to give you the love that you can't give yourself, which is absurd Absolutely. Yeah, when you right. think about it. But um, to know that and to live that, to embody that, you know, to stop saying yes when you should be saying mm. no. To speak your truth no matter the consequences. To dare, you know, to show yourself and to just be out there with your vulnerability. And now vulnerability can be about like showing your weaknesses, showing your hurt. Mm -hmm. But for me, like the, the strongest part and the most empowering part of vulnerability is when you can stand before someone or a situation and, um, and say what you want. You know, stick to what you want, what you want to experience, and then say no to everything that's not that. 